How's it going everyone? My name is Miguel Fuentes and today is Sunday, uh, June the 27th. And today we're, go we're going to continue on the series on 2 Corinthians. And I hope that you got your Bibles with you because we're going to be going through a lot of things. Before we get into the Word, um... Let's go ahead and uh, pray, and then do the announcements, and then get get into the Word. Amen? Let's go ahead and pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you, Lord, for today. We thank you, Lord, for all that you've done, Father. Lord, you are gracious. You are so wonderful in mercy. God, we just thank you, Lord, for today. Um, and Father, if we have sin in our hearts, Lord, Lord, we repent for for what we have done. And uh, Father, cleanse us by your blood. And uh, help us, Lord, to continue on living in righteousness and, and walking in holiness, Lord, as you are as 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 you called us out from this world. And uh, we thank you, Lord. We praise you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. All right. So, announcements. Um, remember, uh, Nick, the, the end of July, uh, July the 29th, I think July the 29th through the 31st, we're going to get into a... Uh, a nightly uh, revival uh, online meeting and just seek the Lord together as the body of Christ and uh, and yeah and also if you are led by the Holy Spirit to give uh, I'll post the uh, the PayPal link down in the description if you wanna if the if the Holy Spirit uh, guides you to give of some sort um, <clears throat> so I do have a job, and so, you know, I, I'm, God's taking care of me as, 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 as planned. But if you are led to give, you know, go ahead and be obedient and, and give. Um, I think I saw the announcement, and also, uh, sorry about my, my little vocal and stuff, it, it's, been singing worship songs, which include Christian metal, so I just love to scream the name of Jesus out of my lungs, man. And so I, I give God all glory and praise. Amen. So, and again, if, <clears throat> and again, if you don't know who I am, I am, um, my name is Miguel Fuentes. And I am the online uh, campus pastor at uh, United Church Online. And so I am very, very excited for this word. So we're going to continue on the uh, the Second Corinthians series. And we're in chapter 2. And I'm going to be reading from both the modern English version and the King James version. Just to make them a little more lengthy. Amen. I just love reading the word of God. Amen. All right. So let me read first the modern English version, and then I'm going to be reading out of the King James. Amen. But I determined this for myself, that I would not come again to you in sorrow. But if I make you sorrowful, who then will there be to make me rejoice? But the one whom I have made sorrowful. I wrote concerning this matter to you, so that when I came, I would not be grieved by those in whom I ought to rejoice, having confidence in you all, 
that my joy is your joy, for for out of much affliction and anguish of heart, I wrote to you with many tears, not that you should be grieved, but you may know the love which I have more abundantly for you. But if anyone has caused grief, he has not grieved me, but to some extent of all of you, not to put it too seriously. This punishment, which was uh, inflicted by many of such a man, is sufficient. So on the contrary, you ought to forgive him and comfort him. Least perhaps he may be swallowed up with extensive sorrow. Therefore, I ask you to confirm your love towards him. For this end, I also wrote so that I may know that you are providing yourself by whether you are being obedient in all things. Whomever you forgive anything, I also forgive. For if I forgive someone anything for your soul, I forgive it in Christ. Least Satan should take advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Furthermore, when I came to Tyrus to preach Christ's gospel, and a door was opened to me by the Lord, I had no rest in my spirit because I did not find Titus, my brother. So taking my leave of them, I went from there into Macedonia. Now thanks be to God, who also caused us to triumph in Christ, and through us reveals the fragments of his knowledge in every place. For we are to God a sweet fragrance of Christ among those who are saved and among those who perish, to the one who are the fragrance of death which brings death, and to the other the fragrance of life which brings life, who is sufficient for these things, for we are not as many as, sorry, as many, as many are who pelly the word of God, instead of being sent by God, we sincerely speak in Christ in the sight of God. That's the end of chapter 2. Let's go ahead and read the King James Version. But I determined this with, with myself, that I would not come again to you in heaviness. For if I make you so sorry... Who is he that then that maketh me glad? But the same which is made sorrow, so sorry by me. And I wrote this same unto you, least when I came, I should have sorrow from them of whom I ought to rejoice, having confidence in you all. That my joy is the joy of all of you. For out of much affliction and anguish of heart, I wrote unto you with many tears, not that ye should be grieved, but that ye may know that love which I have more abundantly unto you. But if anyone has caused grief, he has not grieved me, but in part, that I may not overchange, overchange you all. Uh, <clears throat> Sufficient to much a man is this punishment, which, which was inflicted of me. So that uh, Connor wise yet ought rather to forgive him and comfort him. Least perhaps such a one should be swallowed up with overmuch 
sorrow. Wherefore, I, I beseech you that ye could confirm your love towards him. For to this end also did I write that I may know the proof of you, whether yet, whether yet, sorry, whether ye be obedient in all things. To whom yet, so to whom ye forgive anything, I forgive also. For if I forgive anything, to whom I forgive it, for your sake forgive I it in the uh, it in the person of Christ. The Satan should get a should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Furthermore, I came to Tyrus to preach Christ's gospel, and a door was opened unto me to, of the Lord. I had no rest in my spirit, because I found not Titus, my brother. But taking my leave of them, I went uh, I went from Tani into Macedonia. Now thanks be unto God, which also causeth us to triumph in Christ, and maketh manifest the Savior of his knowledge by us in every place. For we are unto God a sweet Savior of Christ, in whom... So in them that are saved and in them that perish. To the one we are the savior of death unto death, and to the other the savior of life unto life. And who is satisfied for these things? For we are not as many which corrupt the word of God, but as a sincere sincerely but of but as of God in the sight of God. Speak we in Christ. That's the end of chapter 2. So, what do we have here? What do we have here? We know for a fact that, let me show you a quick outline of this. In verses 1 and 2, Paul urged forgiveness. And then in verses 3 through 11, Forgive the offender. And in verses 12 through 17, the triumphant in Christ. And like I said, there are life lessons to this. Praise the Lord. It is by Christ we understand the importance of forgiveness. We know for a fact that Scientifically, there's studies have proven that unforgiveness, bitterness, will cause bad health, physically, mentally, and emotionally. So the first lesson I, I understand is don't hold unforgiveness. Don't hold unforgiveness. See, bitterness will kill your anointing in your life. Straight up forward. Because if you don't forgive the offender, if you don't forgive those who hurt you or who beat you up or, or something like that, you will hold that grudge against that brother or against that person. And within 20 plus years from now, you're going to get, you're, either you're going to give yourself a stroke or, or you're going to give yourself a heart attack because you won't allow yourself to forgive that person. Because God is keep on reminding you to, be, to 
forgive that person that you are hurt or those bullies that 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 are hurting you the most you know sometimes i had to let go of things that 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 really hurts me i remember when i was in elementary school i've been bullied i've been i've been not well i've been i've been scared of getting into trouble and i did get into trouble uh a couple of times in in uh, elementary school uh and i was you know i have the fear of the the, the phobia of getting in trouble and and it hurts me to to say that you know i'm i'm you know praise the lord that i never get into trouble again but back when i was a kid i was struggling with that i'm a struggle i'm struggling to 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 be strong when when i was in trouble because i usually going like this <laughs> you know crying i was i was so afraid I'm so afraid of of the consequences of my actions. <clears throat> and so I learned in my walk with the Lord that I gotta forgive my bullies back in elementary school. I learned how to forgive others now. For hurting me. Now did I get beat up at work? No. But I have people yell at me. Calling me names. I forgive them. But I learned that I could not hold unforgiveness in my heart. Towards something. Even if my, my pet dog. Bites me, I forgive. I, I forgive my dog for biting me. That's how much I take forgiveness seriously. I want to forgive anything and everybody that tries to hurt me or try to hurt my fam, my future family, or my family in general. Because I know for a fact that God wants us to forgive people. And that leads to number two. People will try to offend you, but how will you react? People will try slanderous things to you. Or people will try to seduce you. Or, 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 start, or women trying to seduce you. Or men trying to just, uh, seduce you. Or, 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 or a, uh, if you are street preaching, a hackler says something to you inappropriately. How you will react is what is, is what, she, is what, she, oh, I'm trying to say this. Whatever that person says to you, watch what you're saying and watch what you're doing. You don't want to punch them in the face. You don't want them. You, you don't want to say inappropriate things to the hackler. For example, if, if the hackler calls you a B or calls you an S or whatever, what's your reaction? Just keep on preaching. Keep on, keep on loving that person to the point that you forgive him. See what they did in the in the church of Corinth that Paul wrote to them, saying, "Yeah, that dude did some messed up things." Let me tell you this: love him, comfort him, and forgive him. Forgive the offenders. In matter of fact, I forgive the police officer who killed George Floyd for killing him. And yet many, many still protest Black Lives Matter. But, but, but the reality is, all lives are matter before God, because God created us in His image. 
and I understand that yes, there are racial injustice, but that doesn't mean that 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 you protest that that this is the wrong entire thing. I know it's wrong, and yet God called us to live a holy life, being a separated life away from this world. Because I know for a fact, Christ died for me, even yet, even even, even if you're still a sinner today, Christ did die for you. That one day that you will be free from your sin, and that you will fall in love with Jesus like never before, like never before. <clears throat> so what's your... So so watch your actions or watch your words of of those who are trying to offend you and forgive them. Number three, no matter what problem you face, you, we uh we will always be triumphant in Christ. See, I'm in a situation right now that yes, I've been working long hours this whole week. It's tough. The humidity is bad. The heat the summer heat is bad, but yet I do through the strength of the Lord Jesus Christ that I made it through the week. This week, two people quit. Two people quit. But now I'm ready. To make that change in my life. I'm ready for, 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 for the calling of God be manifested in my life. To be a software developer. Yes, I'm going to be applying for jobs like never before. Even if, I, even if that the Lord wants me to move this specific area. I know for a fact that God is about to change my life around. And through this week, I've been going through the wilderness. That's right. This week, I've been going through the wilderness, and I, and I know for a fact that there's a lot of things that I repented. There's a lot of things that I realized that I am a mess, that I am a messed up person that needs the Savior of the world just to, tra just to transform my life. And yes, I've been through the upper room prayer meetings. Like in Acts chapter 1 and 2. See, I see that the Lord is about to break through a, 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 a brand new me. Through Christ. Because I obeyed the Lord. Told me to take a break for a week. Spend time with me. And I spent time with him like, like Moses. Spending time with God uh, above Mount Sinai. I tell you, God is changing my life like never before. God gets all the glory and praise. Amen. See, through the blood of Jesus, I am protected. God will fight my battles. We break the chain through Christ. It's about us. See the people the the people of God is missing out the goodness of the Lord. And I don't know about you. If you if you're miserable, if you want to get out of the religious system and start having a personal relationship with God. Do so now. Trust me, God would change your life. And I close with this. Learn how to forgive others through their offenses against you. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this sermon. i try to make it as long as I can. But man, I tell you this, God is good. God is good. 
and 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 I and I pray and I'm believing that the Lord will produce fruits in my life like never before. Obviously, uh, miracles, signs, and wonders in my life like never before. And those of you who are seeking the Lord daily, you know what I'm talking about. When breakthrough comes, we give God all the glory and praise, even through the bad times. Because you got to understand that, yeah, Satan is there to kill, steal, and destroy our lives. But one thing matters the most is that, you, is that, that, that we do not give up, not only, not only in ourselves, but in God. Because we believe that God is bigger than the problem that we face. That we know for a fact that God allowed us to go through trials and tribulations just to stretch us to the point that we are being strengthened by the power of the Lord. And I know for a fact that the, those of you who are praying for miracles, uh, don't you know, don't give up the believing of the miracles. Go ahead and pray. Continue to seek the Lord for miracles. Amen. Because I know for a fact that breakthrough is right at the door. Amen. And so I, I hope that you enjoyed this sermon. I hope that you enjoyed this word. Um, again, if you've got any prayer requests, go ahead and comment down below. Or give me an amen or, or hallelujah or, or, or something like that. And share. Share this video. Because I know for a fact that, you know, yes, we can grow this channel. We, we, we can see how God multiplied the churches through this present age just by clicking a, a, a subscribe button. Letting me know that we are being transformed by the power of God. That we are not just a number, but we are a multitude of numbers. We are we have the army of the Lord Jesus Christ ready to fight against the enemy. Amen. So go ahead and to subscribe, like, share, subscribe, uh, do whatever you like to do. And God is with us. And uh, may God bless you. May God keep you. I'll see you guys again next time.